Mr. Klein Storytime. Hello, my name is Mr. Klein. I've been an elementary school teacher for almost 30 years, and I love reading stories to young people just like you. In fact, I've got a great story that I'd like to share with you right now. So let's get started. Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. Illustrated by Lois Ellert. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. The fifth little caterpillar sailed the garden pool. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree and hung there patiently until by and by the tenth little caterpillar became a butterfly. Number one is a morning cloak caterpillar that feeds on tree leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves and becomes a butterfly. Number two is a buckeye caterpillar, feeds on a variety of leaves, including snapdragon leaves, and becomes a butterfly. Number three is a cabbage looper caterpillar. It devours leaves like garden crops and becomes a moth. Number four is a yellow bear caterpillar that chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops and becomes a Virginian tiger moth. And number five is a yellow neck caterpillar that feeds on tree leaves and also becomes a moth. Number six is a monarch caterpillar that eats only milkweed leaves and becomes a butterfly. Number seven is a painted lady caterpillar that feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies and becomes a butterfly. Number eight is a woolly bear caterpillar that eats many low-growing plants, grasses, and weeds and becomes an Isabella tiger moth. Number nine is a common wood nymph caterpillar, feeds on grasses in woods, meadows, and fields and becomes a butterfly. And number 10 is a tiger swallowtail caterpillar that eats shrub and broadleaf tree leaves and becomes a butterfly. The end. Thank you for coming to Storytime. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I read new stories every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to hear another one. Hope to see you again soon.